who's very kindly donated two frames for our, our prize draw today which I very appreciate him also no is the uh, two that we put at the back there so very cool um, but I'd like to know a bit more about the stall and what new frames you've got today uh, well new ones today what? move these toys out of the way no Chelsea said you didn't allow them oh I'm not I'm not allowed this I'll, no. uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to move them away to my, my areas <laughs> Gonna do some different stuff. Yeah. These are meant to be for Mother's Day and Father's Day, a bit late. A, bit, a little late. A little late, but the designs are there. Yeah, but there's, there's always there's always birthdays and that, you know, things like that can yeah. always be bought for birthdays. There's a new one. Oh, a new one. Wonder Boy 3. One classic, very classic game. I, I've actually seen that Master System over there. I'm thinking, am I gonna buy a Wonder Boy 3 today? I don't know. Yeah. I almost bought a Master System myself as well. Yeah. I have a Resident Evil. Mansion from Resident Evil 1. That's cool, the, the entire map. I mean, yeah. you, you can see you, you can see where all the staircases yeah. should line up and It's very cool. It's PlayStation, good, like, version. Really PlayStation version. PlayStation right. version. My favourite version. Triforce. And the uh, game, yeah. Nice, nice little link at the bottom yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, The, uh, all the end images from Sonic 2. Oh, oh so that's, that's, that's still uh, still from the game? Yeah. And, uh, when you complete it with Sonic or, or Tails or Knuckles. Oh, right, okay. Yes. So when you complete those individually, you get that, that image. Yeah. So I'll just combine the three together. That's Why not? Really cool. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the uh, diversity in some of the new images that you're doing because, yeah. you know, you, you've always got your classic uh, you know, your game stills and that, but then you've got the ones that you're designing yourself. Um, so still using game graphics. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. It's always always good ideas you've had. You know, as last time you had the uh, the boxes for toys that are just just here. Yeah. Um, you know, well, oh, great one. You pulled out my favourite one on that one. So uh, you still got the toy boxes. It's like a new. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice diverse selection of things that you're doing in your own way yeah. of the. the, the the, the 3D frames. Well, I've noticed other people starting to do similar things. Right. Not, not, not exactly the same, very similar 3D images like this. So I thought I'd need to mix it up a bit, you know, keep it fresh, really. Well, well, of what's on here today, what would be your favourite? Um, my favourite today is actually another new one I've just spotted. Ah. It is... Spider-Man. Spider-Man, nice. Mega Drive spider my favourite. One of my favourites. One of your favourites. Well, thank you very much for talking to us as always. Well, I'll let you get that back first. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for talking to us as always, and thanks again for donating the, uh, the two frames. Uh, I'm going to go talk to people now to actually get some entrance to this yes. and not just put them in my back pocket. Uh, and uh, well, see you again. Uh, big pockets, yeah. See you again soon. Thank you. Thanks again. So, we're here with Heroic Dale, and uh, well, we've, <laughs> we've spoken to you many times before. We went through this last time. That it's part of your contract as being my friend that you have to speak to me on every one of my videos. Yep. So uh, I hope you're still happy with that. Yeah. And uh, it appears you bought some art, art prints there. Oh, art prints first. Art prints first. Right. Um, and because we'll go, we'll go to the games yeah. afterwards. Right. So I've got some really good art. Got some really good art First up, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Um, a classic film. 1994. The 94. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got I've got a picture of, like this for Drive on the wall already, and I thought this would like match up, so it like looks like a set. I got two. Oh, you got two. So 
that's Pulp Fiction, and then I got another one that's pretty similar. I can get uh, the easiest bit yes, out of those. Pulp, pulp, pulp. But there's Pulp Fiction, and then Fight Club. Pretty cool. That's really nice. So, I'm really happy with those. I can't remember the name of the guy, but I don't know if you know what it's called. I, I, I know, I know what he, which stall he was, I just can't remember the, the name of yeah, the stall. Yeah, I can't remember his name. He, was it the guy with all the, the, the blueprints? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the guy with the blueprints. And, nice. You know, like anime, and he had, I think he had his own artwork as well. Yeah, he did. He, he was he was more wanting to sell his own artwork because uh, yeah, um, it was his own stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these were like um, two for fifteen pound, I think. Okay. Which was pretty good. That's not too bad. Eight pound each or two hundred pounds. So yeah um, for sure oh uh, yeah some good pictures there yeah, I, I, I definitely prefer the uh, Pulp Fiction one yeah, over yeah. Fight Club but that's probably because I prefer that film more yeah, than Fight Club they're both, they're both match they're both similar styles and I just yeah. really like that sort of style and as you say they'll go with the one that you've already got which is uh, for Drive yeah. yeah so what games so you get? games um, I'm going with the, I, got, I only got three games this okay. time um, first up I got the Mortal Kombat trilogy for the Playstation nice I've uh, <laughs> I always liked Mortal Kombat when I, when I had it for the Mega Drive and never played it on the PlayStation, so I don't know. No, if it's like any different yeah. or I, I don't. I don't think that should be because that, that should be the just yeah. a standard two D. Should be gameplay. So, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Ten pound, and then I got a game that I've been after ever since these retro game fairs have been on, and they've always just been ridiculous prices. And yeah. I got this for um, six. Yeah, but no sorry. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Because I'm, I'm in absolute <laughs> shock at how cheap I got it um, from Mark's Memory Bites, yes. which is a really good deal. Um, I sorted that out before we got here, you know, like, yeah. you know, a couple of months before, and then just done the deal here. Yeah, but and you made yeah. sure you brought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I made sure I reminded him last night and everything. Yeah, but yeah I've been after this for ages because. I can remember when uh, we went yeah. out. We used to play this in the arcade all the time. 1995, 96, 96, I think it was when we, we played that in arcade. Yeah. So, I'm really happy with that. Because, like I said, I've been after that for ever since these fairs have been going on. Yeah. And then this one from um, Saw Thumb Retro Games, GameCube game, Star Wars Rogue Leader, yeah, Rogue Squadron. Uh, classic Ooh. game. Uh, yeah. that, that is a great, uh, that was the first one of them on GameCube and it came out really well. The, the, yeah. the third one wasn't as good, but that was such an improvement on the N64 version. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you got three, yeah, three good so, games. Yeah, I'm there. quite happy with everything I've got. Yeah. Three good games, two great art prints. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing will be in the background of some of your videos. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did expect to get more stuff, but I don't know. Just nothing really caught me eye except for like you know what I did get. Obviously, I'm happy with what I've got. Cool. So, yeah. Good day. Yeah, it has been quite a good day. It's been quite hectic now as well. It was quite busy today. Uh, would, before we go, would you like to just promote your channel as, as you normally do? Yeah, check out um, the Heroic Tale channel. Um, I do movie reviews, um, unboxings, and like just showing off like game halls and Blu ray halls and things like that. General geeky stuff, really. So. <laughs> Well, link for that will be underneath, and uh, well, thanks for talking to us. Yeah. Mostly Sonic and Disney games. Mostly Sonic and Disney games. Can we have a look at them? Yeah. What? Oh, you've got a giant Buzz Lightyear as well. Buzz and a Jesse, yeah. What other games have you got? Oh, Sonic Adventure, Sonic 3D. Yeah, and uh, Stitch uh, Experiment. Well, what's, what's that all about? Um, Ah, cool. So you like you like uh, Stitch and he likes. Uh, well, there's more games in the back. And you've got a lot of games, but we'll keep them in there. You've got no need to get them all out. Can you remember some of the titles? Uh, Sonic Spinball and what else were there? <laughs> Sonic yeah. Two. Sonic Two. Yeah, yeah, I tried to get all. Yeah, yeah. I've got a little ball at home. Oh, that's great. So you, you are really trying to fill out a nice Sonic yeah. collection. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what, what did you come down here for? Just you just want to have a look. You, 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 had, yeah. you had a few things on your mind. Were you were able to pick up what you wanted, and you wanted to. Yes. Yeah. So, were you after these games? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You've been upstairs for the uh, Pokemon title. Not like no. no. Used to. Used to be Pokemon, yeah. but yeah, you don't want to look at the play today. How did you hear about the event today? Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. So you part of the. Game. And we've been before as well. Yeah. Games of Blast you. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next event. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, thanks, thanks for stopping the talk, yeah. guys. Yeah. And, uh, it's a nice sunny day. You can enjoy the rest of the day now. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on.
And we spoke to you before when you was promoting Hyper Sentinel and yep. again when you was promoting this uh, Hints and Tips uh, video again, Pioneers, yep. uh, which is the book by your father, Andrew yep. Gibson. Yep. And today you've got a new game to show off. Yeah, so, uh, absolutely. Could you tell us a bit more about this new game? Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, The Mystery of Woolly Mountain, which is uh, another world uh, adventure game from James Lightfoot. Okay. Um, so it's. Imagine taking Monkey Island, those old classic uh, adventure games, yeah. and then injecting it with British British humour and British kind of uh, quirkiness. So you're chortling the wheelies, trapdoor, all of those kind of inspirations okay. with Adventure Time style uh, visuals. So um, yeah, it's uh, you, 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 you're quite clear. It's fully voiced as well. Got full voice actors in there. So it's a really rich uh, storyline. Cool. And how 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 would you play through it? As you said, it's a point and click adventure. Yes. Okay. It's basically, there are a bunch. Of, um, they're a bunch of uh, time-travelling scientists, okay. and they, uh, they, they they go around on this submarine, uh, solving mysteries and, um, and what have you. And um, yeah, so there's a, there's actually a group of them that you get to play out. This is Van Damme, this this character. Right. It came back to me. It came back, it came to, back to me. There we go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's your classic style thing. So you can you can collect and combine items. So here I can combine the stick with the yarn here. No, I can't because I haven't broken it yet. Ah, I need to do that bit first. <laughs> but yeah, it's your classic it's your classic kind of point and click. So uh, use the stick on the lumpy ground. Try and break the lumpy ground. You know, collect items. Figure out what to combine with what. Who to talk to. When to talk to them. All that kind of stuff. There you go. Comes. I've broken the stick. Exactly. There we go. There. So, so now, now you can buy the stick with yeah. the yarn. So pretty cool. And before when we spoke about it earlier today, you mentioned something about this uh, comic as well. Yeah. So this is this comic book is actually um, it actually guides you through the demo here. But yeah, it's a, it's a free comic book, um, which uh, really beautiful artwork there, um, which sort of gives you clues. So if you're playing the demo and you've got this with you, you can go on. A bit stuck, you can watch through the comic and see yeah. maybe where you're going wrong. Oh yeah, it's got yeah, 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 the whole, that's, that is the part that you're on now. That's the, the whole, there, yeah, with the breaking stick. the stick, yep. Breaking the stick and then figuring out to combine the yarn that you got off the scroll that the skeleton was holding, right. combine it with the broken stick. But yeah, it's a, it's a classic kind of retro stuff. There's even a playable ZX Spectrum in the game. You can go into their playroom in this time traveling submarine and you can load a cassette into the ZX Spectrum and start playing, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. So, yeah. It's, it's like, like, like with last time you've done, it, it was an yeah, exactly like an homage to the Iridium and those that's so right. style games. This is yes. uh, it's, uh, an homage to Monkey Island and that style. That's and it. the artwork on this is, is very reminiscent of the, the, the more recent Monkey Island, the, uh, yep. the, the remake. And yeah. uh, I, I am enjoying the way he's moving around as it's just idle. It's like he's like, out of breath. Like, oh, yeah, what yeah, he's, oh. yeah, he's in a bit of trouble. So yeah. he's, he's a bit out of breath. So yeah, yeah, it's that we wanted that really kind of modern, clear uh, graphics. Like I say, Adventure Time meets The Simpsons. Yeah. That, that, that kind of look. And how do we? Uh, how are we able to get this game? It is coming out on Steam and consoles as well. Uh, it'll be coming out on Steam first. Uh, we're aiming for a se uh, September release. Uh, some key rings. Some key rings. We have a bit of close look at them. Uh, far back character key rings. Oh, okay. So you'll have to help me on, on character names. I'm not a big Final Fantasy person. All right, so just um, Warrior Light and Final Fantasy uh, okay. Garland from Final Fantasy One. Okay. And Zidane from Final Fantasy Nine. Uh, so just. I like little collectibles like this. Yeah. Primarily what I come here for, not really the game inside, more the, the, yeah. the merchandise. Yeah, the, the, the extras. The yeah, the little, 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 little nice little touches that you can find. Exactly. Um, so yeah, good selection, but uh, it's just before paid, unfortunately, so I can't go too crazy <laughs> on spending, but I thought I'd pick a couple of little bits. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice, nice, nice and bright and colourful, and yeah. you're, if, you're, yeah. if you're a Final Fantasy fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. always tons of Final Fantasy. Yeah, always. I saw, I saw one. One stall, they had some uh, the statuettes. You know, yeah, 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 loads of yeah. statuettes, yeah. yeah. Have you, uh, yeah. So, you, you enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah no, I did. How did you find out about the event today? Um, it, oh, there we go. Who are you? A long time ago, I think I came to it last 
five or six. Uh, oh, okay, so, so you're a regular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just yeah, come cool. along whenever it's on and see what it is. And have you, have you, I've not got anything to do with it. No, nothing really bit of a fancy. I've, last few times I've spent quite a lot of money, okay. so it's just this time to see what's what. So. Yeah. so you didn't have anything in particular with mine, you just have a little bit of Yeah, pretty much. I just come down and see what's what. Every time it's good it's just to come down for a browse. Yeah, yeah well, there is other things to do as well. They've got the games upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. yeah. cool. Well, thanks for talking to yeah. with us. No worries. Uh, and, uh, have a good day. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, Mario Land. Yeah. Japanese. Yeah. Roomba. Roomba. Can I see him? Yes, please. I've not actually opened it yet, so I don't know. Oh, you don't have to open it. It's just uh, yeah, that's, uh, you can see the uh, box there. That's pretty cool. Uh, is it, what did you pay for this? Um, a haggle. I think having £30 and paid £20 on it. Oh, that's, that's a good haggle in there. Yes, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, it's £10. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, is this what you came down for or did you have, what did you have in mind? When just you have a brown, just brown, a brown. Yeah. I collect the old game memorabilia, so, you know, it's a, a nice event to turn up. And Are you into more of the memorabilia than the games? Or is it? Uh, no, both. both. I collect a lot of things, yeah. yeah. Mainly Zelda and Mario things. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, no, yeah. 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 <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Uh, and how did you hear about the events there? Yeah, online. Online. I've been to a few at home all over the years, but yeah, I've read about this online, so I've just turned up. And if you come down here to the next one, definitely, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, well, thank, thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah, right. And uh, yeah. have a good rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs> to know the name on the back okay but there is there is pertinent information on there so don't show it to the camera we don't want any phone numbers getting shown off <laughs> so the winner of it's me it's me <laughs> no it's not really it's uh it's not second this is graham graham so graham yes congratulations graham so well done graham you jammy person exactly would you please draw out my second prize Absolutely. which is the uh, donkey kong frame as graham won the sonic and uh we just need the first name that's on the back. 
first name is Bethany. Bethany. Okay. Well, con congratulations, Bethany. <laughs> and uh, we'll give. We'll call you soon. Congratulations there to Cassandra for winning the Nintendo Switch, and also congratulations to. Graham and Bethany for winning the frames that were provided to me by Mark from Mark's Memory Bites. Once again, Mark, thank you very much for donating those to me. It is very much appreciated. As always, I set up a camera just watching everybody coming in and out of the fair. If you do see yourself, then please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Thanks again to Stephen for allowing me to get in early so I could set up the extra cameras that I uh, do like to do and uh, for also giving me a nice little look around the uh, stalls before anyone else does. Always fun to interact with you guys, spoke to a lot of people today, really cool and uh, you know, we saw some familiar faces which is always good that people want to come back uh, and have a chat with us and it's always great that people want to come back and go to another show. They are always trying to boost up their collections and uh, a lot of new people that actually uh, this was their first show so uh, hopefully we'll see you again at another one. The next event is at the Marriott Hotel in Leeds, get down there early, get yourself some bargains, it is a collectorabilia so all you toy collectors get yourself down to the Marriott Hotel 29th of September in Leeds. Unfortunately I have a prior engagement so it's the first one I'm missing for two and a half years uh, which is a shame because I really do look forward to the collectorabilias. Only thing that's left for me to do is to show you my purchases so I'm going to pass you across now. So yeah, let's go through uh, my purchases then. Well, our purchases, I suppose, because uh, a couple of these are Chelsea's as well. But uh, we will uh, go through them. Um, I will say we did actually buy more than what I'm going to show you. Um, but the other items were gifts. And, well, they've been given to the people. But <laughs> yeah, they've been given out. Oh, actually, there's one I've got left here, but I'm not going to be showing that off because, it, as I say, it's a gift for somebody. Anyway, uh, we will start off with the first item, which is the Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, this was uh, uh, this was uh, one of Chelsea's purchases, and it was £6, I believe, I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing it was from LL Cool Games. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember, it's been a while, but yeah, Simpsons, Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun uh, 3D adventure game where you run around Springfield and you collect coins I believe I think I used to play it on the PC but Chelsea wanted this on the PS2 so she picked it up and uh, yeah yeah no 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 it's not a, it's not a terrible game but I, I, there are better games out there so next we got these two art prints from the Inkin Imp or as he was known as Metamorphosis Arts and uh, he's got this one signed as a red spike uh, as well so uh, yeah pretty cool we've got the uh, full Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Hero Turtles or whatever you want to call them over here in the 90s, 1890s it was Hero Turtles and Hero Turtles, Hero Turtles I should say and uh, then we've got Knuckles, Sonic and Tails on this one. Now out of the two uh, I do like this one better, um, I do like this one more because well they have got more of an affinity for the Turtles anyway than, uh, than the Sonic games. These were part of the set that we bought that were four for ten pound. As you can see, there's only two here, uh, and I've already said the others were were gifts. So you know they they have been uh, given to their respective um what my name say respective recipients. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the other ones, I, I well I, I can't mention what one of them was um because it's over there. But uh, the other one was I believe it was the the um. Nightmare Nurse or something from uh, from Silent Hill. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, that that was uh, that that was uh, given. And also, I bought another one in the frame from Silent Hill Two, which was the uh, pyramid head. And again, that was uh, given away as a gift. All really cool pictures. Um, you should check out Inkin Imp because he's he's got a whole new set of stuff. A uh, whole new set of artwork, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, his ideas are just getting better and better. Lastly, but by no means least at all, we have these three three D frames from Mark's Memory Bites. And uh, well, we have uh, Castlevania here. We've got the Pac Man, and uh, well, we've got this one which is very cool, which is Mask. And uh, anyone that knows me knows that I love Mask. I do 
love the mask oh yes definitely well mask not the mask you know that's a fun film but this is the 80s um toy and cartoon selection of uh, amazing stuff anyway i've got to tell you i've got to tell you guys i am not a massive fan of castlevania because i've never really played it i've played a quick demo but i just love this image so much um the demo i've played i believe i i it had this scene in as far as i'm aware the symphony night demo um it had this in and I, I just saw this and I thought, you know, this is amazing. You know, I, I, I'm, as I've said, I'm not a fan of the game. I've never really played it. I played a quick demo. Uh, but that didn't matter to me. I really enjoy this image. It is a fantastic image. You've got Alucard there and the Grim Reaper. Um, I believe that this is where it says have a chew or something like that. I, I can't can't fully remember. But look at the detail on this. You know, you've got, you got the... Uh, Nice brickwork underneath there. How, however he does these things is, is really cool. Um, fantastic. And the background there as well of the, the cover of the game. Yeah, I really, really do like this image. I just I just had to have this. Uh, put a bit of smudge on there, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I really had to have it. I'd seen it before, and I hoped he, he would have it again when I saw it here. And it was there, so I just went, yep, yeah, having that really enjoy that picture and for me I, I I kind of enjoy this more knowing that I'm not a massive fan of this game franchise because I've never really played it but that didn't matter I saw the picture wanted it the Pac-Man here is uh, Chelsea's uh, she, she just really enjoyed this image and everyone everyone kind of likes Pac-Man in a way anyway but she really just uh, likes the uh, the image on this um, not much in the way of the, the 3D stuff, um, it, it's uh, just images propped up, but it's still it's still pretty cool, and you can, you can see the 3D effect going on with the walls there, he's eating a little, uh, one of the little pills, and he's going after the, after the, uh, after the ghost, so pretty cool indeed. And finally, we have the mask set. Um, they're not toys, they're valuable collector's items. Now, yes, I have all of these. <laughs> I have all of these toys. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have them all in boxes, but I do have a, a, a boxed Boulder Hill. It is not a perfect box. It, it, it is, it, I've had it since it came out in the mid 80s. Uh, still got it, still got my original boxed one. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. I very fantastic recreations of the boxes you know put put down in miniature form even down to the uh, sort of monochrome images on the bottom of boulder hill there yeah i love mass <laughs> yeah you can see images of the toys underneath on the other boxes so uh, yeah this is really cool really happy with this and uh yeah, this was a sneaky little gift that Chelsea did buy for me near the end of the day. Um, I can't, honestly can't remember how much we paid for all of these uh, put together. Um, really, I, I really can't remember the, the the cost of them, but they're not they're not expensive. They're not expensive. Um, I, and I think these these are I think these larger ones. A ten, maybe fifteen. I can't. I, I honestly cannot remember. But I do. I do know that um, uh, Chelsea did get a deal on this, and I bought these two at the same time, and he knocked a couple of quid off uh, for me when I bought these. Uh, so, so we did get some money knocked off. I just honestly cannot remember how much they are normally. Do check out Maximum Rights and uh, have a look at what frames he does have, and. Uh, if you've got any ideas, you know, he's, he's always coming up with uh, new stuff. And he does do commissions if uh, if you have something that you really want making. The next event is on the 29th of September at the Marriott Hotel in Leeds. And it is a collectorabilia. I hope you all come down to, uh, to check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, thanks again to Stephen for inviting me to film this event. And also to Mark and Max Memory Bites. For donating me the two frames for my giveaway don't forget we also have started our promotion with Jay from Man Mountain Designs if you type in the code more 2018 then you will receive 10% off your order and you can if you want to 
buy Mods Moments t-shirts now from Jay at Man Mountain Designs on his Etsy store. Links to everything and that code is underneath in the description. Check it all out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next Moss memorabilia moment. Good day. I'm doing Benson. <laughs> <laughs> have you actually hit record? Yeah. I hadn't heard it. <laughs> I have and it's green. Look, oh, look, come and see. It's green. Yeah. It's green. <laughs> You're Hello, dead. welcome to the Mark's Moment Show. I can't, I can't, I've lost Today. it now, I know, I've just gone. Hi. Well, Hi. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what I've bought in here. I've bought... Is the blooper out? You big old geek. <laughs> shut up, I can carry on if you shut up. <laughs> Start again. So we're here with Dale, and uh, actually, actually, we're starting again, actually, because we've got to, got to do your full title, aren't we? Yeah, there we go. Who the hell's the phone's ringing? Oh! <laughs> Oh Christ, I'm so <laughs> So are we good? Are we green? Yeah, no, we're green. Oh. Is it a lee? I thought it, I thought it was gonna be funny, she was just gonna stand there. I always laugh and get told off. <laughs> Here's Dickhead one and Dickhead two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are you in it? Are you in it? I'm ready.